Here's what's going on in the world of sports. Here's what Lee Hamilton thinks on a Tuesday. The Padres open a series in San Francisco against the Giants tonight. Odre Despagne, 3-5, goes against left-hander Madison Bumgarner, who's 7-4. Padres have lost 6 of 8 and 9 of 13. The Giants, riddled by injuries, have bounced back. They've won four of their last six. Despagne has really struggled on the road. His career record as a starter is 2-9, away from Petco Park with a 6.50 ERA. Padres, by the way, have hired Xavier Nady, former outfielder and third baseman, as hitting coach Lake Elsinore. Spent 15 years in the major leagues. He's a former first-round pick. They also hired Brandon Wood, formerly of the Angels, to be a coach with their Arizona Rookie League team. Dodgers got beat at Wrigley Field in Chicago last night, 4-2. Chris Bryant had a solo home run and a two-run home run. Clayton Kershaw gave up a couple of bombs. Kershaw falls to 5-5 five and five on the season. L.A. Chicago tonight, Tuesday matchup, Zach Greinke 5-2 versus Jason Hamill 5-2. Angels beat the Astros last night at the Big A 4-3. Albert Pujols, solo home run and a two-run home run. Pujols has 15 homers in his last 24 games. Halos Houston tonight, the matchup, C.J. Wilson 5-5 five five against Colin McHugh, who's 7-3. On the baseball scoreboard, the Yankees lost to the Phillies. Rookie Mikel Franco had a homer, a two-run homer, and a two-run double. He went four for five with five ribbies for Philadelphia. Giannis Suspedes had an RBI double and a solo home run. Detroit beat the Cleveland Indians. Meanwhile, the Toronto Blue Jays over Tampa Bay. Deona Navarro had a solo home run. White Sox lost to the Minnesota Twins. Kenyus Vargas went four for four, four ribbies for Minnesota. Royals over Seattle, Joe Blanton, six innings, one run allowed. Felix Hernandez got beat up again. In Texas, Major League Baseball is mourning the shooting and the murder-suicide of MLB Network anchor Daryl Hamilton, the former Angel and Ranger outfielder. His girlfriend evidently shot him, then killed herself in the domestic abuse incident. Their 13-month child was not injured. In Cincinnati, ESPN has received unsealed documents that show Pete Rose bet on baseball games while he was playing for the Cincinnati Reds in 1986. They have notes of bets that were placed over a 30-day period. The notes indicate that Rose lost $15,000 in one day gambling on games, lost $23,500 in one week. The gambling notebooks were uncovered in an indictment against Mike Bertolini, who had gambling ties to New York and Long Island syndicates. That's where Rose placed his bets. Atlanta Braves have acquired veteran pitcher Bronson Arroyo, comes from the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Marlins are evidently going to make a deal. They're putting pitchers Tom Kohler and Brad Hand on the trading block. Brandon Beachy, a former Atlanta Brave, now in the Dontra's farm system. Two innings, one hit, 45-pitch rehab assignment. He, of course, coming back from two elbow surgeries. Brandon League, the reliever, one inning, one run allowed in a similar rehab outing. NFL football involving the Chargers. Mayor Kevin Falconer held a 45-minute Monday afternoon conference call with NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell to detail what the city has attempted to do in the financing plans for the Chargers stadium. He also discussed the Chargers' lack of cooperation. NFL has confirmed that city negotiator Chris Melvin is in New York and will meet today with Eric Grubman to discuss the city's stance on the environmental issues and a timeline for financing and a vote. The NFL is also going to grant the city an opportunity to make another presentation to the owners before the August 11th meeting in Chicago for the NFL teams to get an update on all the stadium situations around the league. Meanwhile, up in Carson, team lawyer George Milstein took part in a public hearing last night before 400 people detailing the $50 million that's just been made available to finish the toxic cleanup on the Carson land site. He also told officials the new stadium will pay $6 million per year in rent and taxes to the city of Carson over the next 40 years. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell meets with Tom Brady this morning, his appeal hearing of the four-game Deflategate suspension. Raiders developer Floyd Kephart has made a financial presentation to build a Raiders stadium at the Coliseum site without public money, but part of the deal, he wants to sell off a piece of land at the Coliseum to raise $900 million for the football-only stadium. The mayor's office says it won't reveal the other financial aspects of the Kephart plan yet. 
On the field, Saints quarterback Drew Brees has made a $1 million donation to the Purdue football program. Meanwhile, Broncos running back C.J. Anderson has been named the starter going into training camp. The demoted former number one draft pick Monty Ball, Ronnie Hillman, and Jawan Thompson are also part of that mix. Giants looking for offensive line help at a late date bring in Evan Mathis of the Eagles for a physical. New York Jets take a look at John Moffat, the former Seattle Seahawks starting offensive guard. Bengals released quarterback Terrell Pryor a day after he went public said he'd be willing to go from quarterback to tight end to a wide receiver. Bills have signed ex-Jets tight end Matt Mulligan. In basketball, the NBA draft is Thursday and there are rumors everywhere. One has the Lakers bypassing Jahil Okafor at the number two pick and instead taking 7-1 Spanish center Chris Porzingis. Porzingis is bigger, plays much longer, and is a much better athlete. Knickerbockers are reportedly contemplating trading out of the number four spot. They would bypass guard D'Angelo Russell to try to stockpile extra draft picks. Another trade rumor involving the Clippers, this one with Denver. Trade talks that would send Jamal Crawford and C.J. Wilcox to Denver for veteran swingman Wilson Chandler. Clippers also interested in Paul Pierce of Washington, who opted out of his contract to become a free agent, and interested in Aaron Aflalo, who opted out in Portland. Dallas Mavericks meeting with veteran center Greg Oden, the former first pick in the NBA draft. He's had five knee operations, including three microfracture surgeries. Miami wants to meet with Dwayne Wade over the weekend. He's considering opting out of his contract on Monday. He's owed $16 million on the final year of a deal. He wants a max contract extension. Minnesota's put veteran forward Anthony Bennett on the trade block. He's a former first pick in the draft by Cleveland. Portland loses veteran forward Aaron Aflalo, opts out of his contract. Brooklyn Nets guard Thaddeus Young opts out of his deal to become a free agent. Hockey NHL owners are meeting in Las Vegas today and tomorrow. They are reviewing the potential of an NHL expansion blueprint. There's continued interest from Las Vegas, Quebec City, Seattle, and Portland. Owners will be updated on the Arizona Coyotes' lease problems. GMs are going to discuss again overtime rule changes to cut down on shootouts. They're likely to vote and implement a coaching challenge for goaltender interference in the crease. And we'll discuss whether compensation for GMs and coaches who change teams should remain in effect. World Cup soccer, U.S. women's team blanked Columbia 2-0 last night. Carly Lloyd scored on a penalty shot at the 66th minute. U.S. women march on now to the quarterfinals. That's it. That's what's going on in the world of sports. That's what Lee Hamilton thinks on a Tuesday.